Ho, oh, good friend. It is a joy to see you. Although it is quite unexpected, I wish I had known before that such a venerable sage was going to bless us with his presence. Otherwise, I would not be in such the state of undress as you see me now. Ah. Uh, yes, that's right. I've just come from my training. And, um, I trust the squire has uh, acquainted you with our humble estate. Good, good. I am terribly curious as to where you have been. But it's fine. I'm willing to answer your questions first. I hear you are a great traveler and even a documenter of wondrous lands. I'm so excited that you have come here. And uh, of course, yes, thank you, thank you. Feed this good person. Now, I hope you have no objections to our somewhat simple fare. It is true that we are quite prosperous in this land, but I tend to not spend unscrupulously on such frivolity. Yes, this is a simple pottage, a bacon pottage, one of my favorite. You don't mind? Good, good. We could, of course, order the kitchen to... Okay, okay, that's good. Oh, this! Ah, perceptive, I've almost forgotten I've been wearing this. Oh, I think for, ah, half a day by now. No, I, I am not a bishop. I am not called to the cloth. No, you're quite right. You're quite right. Actually, I'll tell you a secret. My brother's the bishop, and he's been looking for this for an entire day. Don't tell him, though, please. It is a great jest. Ah. Sometimes I feel as though I could have been a jester. Mm. Anyway, eat, please, eat, eat. Oh, this, this, it's, um, hmm. I'm not exactly sure. I don't control the kitchen. I leave that mostly to uh, my lady wife, who unfortunately cannot be here today. Otherwise, she would have been quite as uh, flabbergasted as I am right now that we are joined by you. I think it's beans and bacon, like I said. I, I ordered that much. I know that to be true. Hmm. Good question. Normally, you would expect us to be eating this with trenchers, but the kitchen, I don't know, I don't know. Whoever we have in there likes to cut up the bread. White, of course. Mm. And they toast it into um, things to sop up, sop up the pottage. I don't much care for it myself, but the court seems to like it. It's certainly not something you see in the surrounding hamlets. Hmm. Oh, what was that? Sorry. You must forgive me. Yes, I I do have a bad ear. From sparring. I actually can't taste that much either because of sparring. Oh, what? Such is the price of lordship. Especially in these times, I'm sure you've heard that our sovereign is most likely preparing for war against the rebellious North. Where is it that you've come from? Ah, okay, quite interesting. Be wary when heading north, my friend. Hmm. Oh. 
I know. I do think the green bits are spinach and some uh, cucumber, I think. I don't know the names that much. Hmm. No, actually I have another brother as well. Yes, yes. I'm the second board. Hmm. It is quite a shame how many times you hear of brothers falling out. But one to go to the king's court, one to stay here, and one to go to the church. Three is a good number. I simply don't know what we would do if uh, my uh, good lord father had decided to have three. No, no, no bastards. No bastards. Surprising, isn't it? Yes. What? What of your family? Oh, I see. Okay. Hmm. How is your pottage? Ah, well. I pray thee, you should have said something earlier. Vinegar, vinegar for our friend. Hmm. I always request that my vinegar be added in the kitchen. Hmm. Just a little bit of touch makes it almost come alive. How far we have come, truly, from the days of um, the Hebrews. Well, now that we've been talking about church so much, isn't it the Hebrews were promised pottage? Hmm. Oh, where is my brother? Oh, uh, well, the missing uh, mitre most likely sent him on a wild goose chase. I really don't know where he would think. He would have left it. Personally, once again, a secret. He does tend to visit houses of ill repute. <laughs> no. Alright. I suppose he wouldn't do that in his mitre. But honestly, I don't know. Yes, quite perceptive. That is a bit of cheese on this, um, this, uh, sippet of bread. I do adore cheese. Although our lands are not that good for, uh, dairy. Hmm. pray you, do stay a while. It is quite enlightening to have you here to converse with. We, um, we could most definitely put you up for, uh, the time being. Oh, you must go. Well, okay. I suppose I understand your mission is a quite a venerable one that ought not be delayed. Sorry, what? Mm hmm Oh. No, I had not heard that. So... They're producing what in Constantinople now? I already knew about the gemstones, of course, but that is news to me. Scented soaps. My, my, my. Such luxuries they waste their time on. Out there 
mm. in the Orient. I do wish our monarch did not have to worry about the northern border, otherwise we could do a good crusade, could we not? Mm-hmm. It would be a blessing to lead the charge, you're right. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I'll admit, I do not see the world that way. Truly, if the Earth is at the center, which it is, then um, Jerusalem would have to be at the center of that, would it not? I'll admit, I was never very good at uh, all this scholarly wallery things. No, much better left to my older brother. Yes. Although I do not mind hearing about it, by all means. Let us continue with this conversation. Perhaps, would you care to have a look? At, um, oh, I know, at the market. No, no. Hmm. Well, where do you want to see? I can do that, sure. Well, I'm done. And it looks like you are too. We should go right now. Oh. The one trouble with my sparring clothes is that, well, they're not very presentable. And once again, I do apologize, but I did not want to keep you waiting any longer for an audience. The one trouble with these sparring clothes is that they lack any sleeves to wipe my mouth on. Could I borrow yours? <laughs> oh, stay thee, stay thee. Twas but a jest. I am quite good at jesting. 